Okay, the podium panel works back in five. And uh, Reverend Smith is with the Evergreen Missionary Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama. I am fellow many members. I am Brother John Smith of the Evergreen Baptist Church. I'm the pastor there. And our complaint today is that uh, our church was uh, bought by the state for Project X. And in the beginning, they tried to give us $39,310. Then we had to know negotiate, and we did negotiate, and they found it. Uh, said they would give us $65,000 and quick claimed us two and a half acres of land. But after they took the easement out and all, uh, it ended up being about one acre of land. But the problem is uh, that there was no water availability that they knew that uh, the land was useless without water availability. But uh, we, we all thought that there would be water availability through the existing pipes that was on the land. It was a house, it was several houses there. We removed those houses and, and there was uh, uh, water available for those houses. We thought that we could use it for the church. I went to the water board and they told me that was fine in the beginning. And then by the time we needed the water, I get, got ready for the water. Uh, I was told that we could not put a new building in the building. It's up now, a new building on old existing pipes. They wanted us to buy a water main. And our congregation just couldn't afford it. We don't have, what, five to 30 members now. We had 75, but some straight away. Uh, but the water main calls, uh, $80,000 and we just took out, had to take out the loan to get the church built, uh, $175,000 for to get the church built and I think that the state really didn't do us justice because they should have put us back in a comfortable position as we were from the beginning. Our church was already built and we have been in existence for over 100 years. Now we have a new building practically and no water. And we went to the state of the uh, Philip Holmes uh, at the state transportation department. He told me that that was our problem. Uh, after they had quick claimed the land, to it, we had knew that there would be a problem with the water. We would never have settled for the land. Land's no good without in the water. I'm going to let the woman speak. We have a lot of, we have some extra time, and you look very anxious to speak, and it is on the Evergreen Church situation. So why don't, why don't you get up there and just say a couple more things? Good morning. Good morning. I'm with the chairman. Thank you, and thank you to the family. Thank you to the Thank you very much for allowing me this chance. Would you please give your name? My name is Gail Smith. I'm the pastor's wife, Reverend Smith. And the reason I'm up here, and the reason we all are here, because we need your help. And we asking you all for your help. I heard this gentleman on the end, I think, no sir, we don't all know the law. And no, sir, we don't all understand the law. But I believe the Lord have different people in different areas to help one another. We need you all to help us, if you will. And what reason I'm up here also, you see, it was seven families on that land where the church is built. And my husband forgot to explain this. It's seven families. 
and they was all using water on that same land that we are on right now. And Lord knows I'm not, and, but I got to tell you the truth. And they were all white. I'm being honest with you now. And as soon as we came there, and for the state deeded us this land, when that quarter, you know, by, by the interstate coming there, and we took the land because that church we had, where we were, have, had been existing for a hundred years. Well, that's the landmark. You, you don't let nothing like that die down. So, after we started building, they told us at the water board that it would not be a problem that we could get water. But as soon as uh, different uh, business is beginning to bloom. It's, it's closer to Fulton area. This is where it's going to come from. Well, all the different businesses and all these other new homes, when they came at my husband, came at the church and said that we would have to pay eighty some thousand dollars to have this water main put in. It. Well, panel and, and, and to the chairman, half of our membership had fell off. Because the people got disgusted. Because they felt like we could not pay, borrow $175,000 for the have this church bill, then turn around and pay $85,000 for a water main and whatever business or whatever homes come in in that area, they would be able to tap in to that water main at the church expense. This is where the unfairness came in. And this has been our fight. And, and, and the church is almost finished. And we are, we having to pay rent at another church every month, which is right to pay for where you live at. I, I learned from a baby. You do the right thing. You don't stay nowhere for nothing. But, and then we paying interest on the money now check this out, the hundred and seventy five thousand dollars each month. Seven hundred and some dollars on that. Four hundred and some dollars at another church, okay? Then after a while, after the uh, contractor finished, we got to pay him first we got to pay our church no thirteen hundred dollars a month. Then the water people wanted us to pay them um Two thousand and some dollars a month to get a water main. That was just that's just too unfair. Because we had water when we left Evergreen where we were. But when we got to this place and got to a certain point, then they want the church to support and put in the water main. Now that's been our problem. And now we have a stand still. And 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 and, and, and the contractor, he can't finish. And the nice man behind the church, and he's white, he's very nice. He brought his hose pipe down and said, Brother Smell, he said, see, I'm a man, I love the Lord. And I want you to use my water. And you can have, use this water so we agree. We said, well, let us pay you for using your water. He said, no, sir, Reverend Smith. He said, you, this is the church. This is God's house. I want you all to use this water as much as you want. He said, but they can let you all use to tap into that water main. He said, but seven families did, but they won't let this church do it. That's our problem. That's why we are here. And I'm asking this panel, I'm asking you to help us. Thank, Thank you. you. Are there any questions from anybody? What's the state of Alabama saying about this? Uh, what's that? What's the state of Alabama saying? They told us that's our problem. That's our problem. That's what the state That's what the state of transportation told us. They told us that that was our problem. We need the water. The water needs And that's what Mr. Phillips told us. Yeah, that's the state of the water. We gave you the land, so you do what you have to do. Yeah. 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 Y